بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بالبداية مقدمة بسيطة بس زي ما تقولون تحفيزية ألم الدراسة لحظة وتنتهي لكن إهمالها ألم يستمر مدى الحياة فعلموا أبنائكم مثل هذه العبارات ولا تتبادلوا رسائل السخرية والخوف من الدراسة والعمل وكراهيتها فتندم ولا ننسى كلام الشافعي عن الدراسة من لم يذق مرة تعلم ساعة تجرع ذل الجهل طوال حياته ولا ننسى الطبيب القدير واللي يعرف بأب الطب ويليام أوسلر قال مقولة The good physician treat the disease but the great, the great physician treat the patient who has the disease You have to give all your importance to the patient and you have to give all your care uh, not just uh, focusing on the disease and uh, focusing the job لو سمحت المايك عشان أقدر أشرح كويس اللي مشغل المايك طيب موضوعنا اليوم الكتروكارديوغرام اي سي جي او اي كي جي نفس الاسم انا عبد الله التويجري هذا سناب شات قناتي بالسناب كلها محتوى طبي لو حابين وهذا حسابي في تويتر بالبدايه اشكر منظمه ماي واي سبيشلي الاي ار والاي سي يو على اتاحه الفرصه هذه اني اقدم عرض اللي يعتبر بغايه الاهميه آه لا يهم كونك طبيب قلب او اخصائي قلب عشان تعرف الموضوع هذا آه كطالب طب من البدايه لازم تعرف هالشيء كممرض لازم تعرف هالشيء كاخصائي تنفس لازم تعرف هالشيء فالموضوع مره مهم وكلنا المفترض انه نكون نعرفه آه لو بالاشياء الاساسيه آه خلونا نبدا آه بالبدايه لازم انوه انه في بريك تايم ان شاء الله ان سلايد نمبر 27 سو افتر 27 سلايد After 41, 45, sorry, and then 75, and then 103 uh, for two minutes to take a breath and uh, water if you want, okay? Okay, let's get started. So these are our objective today. Introduction to the ECG. Uh, to define the normal heart cycle and to identify the conducting system of the heart, to identify and recognize ECG leads, to identify and recognize normal ECG paper, to recognize monitoring artifacts, our problems, and then approach to the ECG paper, and then normal and abnormal ECG wave form components. And lastly, uh, eventually we'll go through uh, management or treatment of uh, different type of arrhythmias. Uh, let's get started. Uh, history, uh, we have uh, a uh, Dutch doctor uh, who discovered the ECG uh, is called William Inthubian. In 1903, he invented this uh, old ECG monitoring. Uh, as you can see, the patient will sit on, the, on a chair and put his limb on a saline container. Uh, and then the, uh, the, the device will start uh, monitoring or recording the uh, conducting system. In 1924, he won a Nobel Prize of Medicine. Uh, nowadays, we have a new modern device for ECG, this one. Uh, it's available in all different uh, type of hospitals. And the, uh, even uh, in the secondary hospital too. So, uh, question for you, uh, what is the purpose or need of ECG? Why we do an ECG? Uh, I'm gonna look for the chat for, uh, for some answers. So, why we do ECG? Can anyone tell me why we do ECG? What is the importance of the ECG paper in uh, clinical practice or to know the cardiac status, to diagnosis, to see the heart work? Uh, great answer. To know the heartbeat, to monitor the heart rhythm. Exactly, as, as you've mentioned, uh, it's all about the heart and the cardiovascular system, okay? Uh, so, to follow symptoms and signs, for example, we have chest pain, patient complaining for chest pain, uh, or dizziness, confusions, uh, heart palpitation, rapid pulse, uh, COP or shortness of breath, weakness, fatigue, uh, patient complaining of uh, inability or decreased ability to exercise. Uh, these symptoms, uh, not always or not always considered as ECG need. Sometimes we do not do ECG for these symptoms. But of course, in the next slide, 
These diseases, we must do ECG. If we suspected any of kind of these diseases, we have to do ECG uh, to confirm uh, the diagnosis and uh, to follow up the patient. Arrhythmia, irregular rhythm of the heart, myocardial ischemia or myocardial infarctions, pericarditis, myocarditis, or heart chamber enlargement, or even uh, electrolyte imbalance. For example, hyperkalemia, hypokalemia, uh, hypocalcemia. Okay, we'll go to normal heart cycle. The blood come uh, deoxygenated from uh, two big valves, superior vena cava and inferior vena cava. So from here, it will go to the right atrium. From the right atrium, it will bump into right ventricle. From the right ventricle, it will bump to pulmonary valve, uh, pulmonary vein, and then come back to the uh, left side of the heart, oxygenated, uh, and then uh, to the left ventricle, and then bump uh, all around the body. This is normal heart cycle. Uh, this is how the heart works, uh, how it supply all uh, different body parts. Yeah. Uh, لو, لو, لو سمحت <laughs> Okay, uh, as we talk the uh, normal heart cycle, let's go through conducting system of the heart. This is the main core of this lecture. Guys, you need to understand this very well. This is the electrical activity of the heart. This is how the heart works. Uh, this conducting system of the heart, uh, it's supplied the heart by uh, impulses, uh, or we can see it signals, electrical activity. Uh, we have different components. We have the first part, it's called SA node or sinoatrial node. It's present in the upper part of the right atrium. And this part is called pacemaker of the heart or uh, the main part of the conducting system. Uh, it's important. Uh, it gives us the heartbeat, the uh, natural heartbeat. It's about 70 to 100, as uh, I've written it here. And then next one, it's atrioventricular node or AV node. Uh, this is the second one. Uh, this will receive impulses from SA node uh, and deliver it to the AV bundle. This is con uh, connection between the uh, two ventricles and the two, uh, two ventricles and the two atrium, okay? Uh, from the AV node, it will go to the uh, bundle of his branches, right and left. Right will deliver impulses from the uh, AV node to the uh, Burkinji fiber by intraventricular septum, right intraventricular septum. And then left uh, bundle, uh, bundle of his branch will deliver it to the left uh, Burkinji fiber. About the impulses, as I've mentioned, SA node will deliver impulses about 60 to 100. This is the, this is the normal, this is the natural uh, pacemaker. And then AV node will deliver about 40 to 60. And then bundle branches, 40 to 60 as well. Lastly, uh, Burkinji fibers, uh, it will deliver impulses uh, 20 to 40. These impulses, you must uh, memorize it uh, to know uh, how the heart, uh, how many beats, uh, will deliver from, for example, SA node or AV node. Uh, we'll go in details now. So clinical correlation or التداخل الكلينيكي. What will happen when there is a problem in the conducting system? What will happen in the heart? If there was AV node uh, cannot conduct normally, لو قلنا هنا, this is AV node. If it cannot conduct normally, what will happen? result in arrhythmia or irregular rhythm of the heart because SA node will deliver impulses all around the uh, conducting system, but it will not uh, deliver to the AV node. So uh, what will happen? There will be a contraction of the two atriums, but the ventricle, no. Uh, the AV node will generate its own impulses to the ventricle. Uh, it will be separate. So the heart rhythm will be irregular. Uh, we will end in uh, arrhythmia. Uh, second, if complete block occurs, for example, let's, let's go here. If there is complete block, what will happen? There will be atrioventricular dissociation. There will no be connection between atrium and ventricle and the impulses. Yeah. 
Okay, so if complete the black occurs of bundle of his, there will be no uh, atrium and ventricle uh, connection. Uh, lastly, uh, or uh, the most common cause of these uh, conditions, it's ather atherosclerosis of the coronary artery due to uh, damage of blood supply to the conducting system. Okay, let's go it, uh, through, uh, through the conducting system in very uh, details. Uh, we're gonna start with uh, SA node. Uh, SA node is responsible for what? Atrial depolarization. We have two, uh, we have to memorize two uh, nouns, depolarization and repolarization. Inside the cells, there is negative and positive charge. Uh, in cases of depolarization, the, uh, okay. Uh, you can hear me well, because he said your internet is, صوتي واضح. Okay. Uh, so we have to understand SA node, uh, or we have to understand atrial depolarization or repolarization. Inside the cells, there is negative and positive charge. In case of depolarization, the, uh, the charge inside the cells will be negative. Uh, in the opposite, in repolarization, there will be uh, positive charge. Uh, what, we know, what we need to know, in depolarization, there will be contraction. The heart will contract. In repolarization, the heart will relax, okay? So let's get started. In the SA node, it will send impulses to the uh, AV node and the rest of the atrium, result in atrial depolarization or atrial contraction. Here we have initiation of, SA, initiation of B wave in the uh, ACG, okay? Secondly, the impulses will reach the AV node. What will happen? The, uh, the impulses, will, uh, after reaching to the AV node, there will be continuous of atrial depolarization, okay? Now atrial depolarization is completed in the AV node. We result in PR interval, okay? After that, uh, when the impulse is reached to the AV node, it will send it to the bundle of his branches. Here we will receive, uh, we will start with ventricular depolarization or ventricular contraction, tamam? Ventricular contraction, it will give us, uh, okay. Uh, this is what I've reviewed in just a few minutes. Uh, so, as I've mentioned, P wave represents atrial depolarization, contraction of the atria, and then PR interval continues with the atrial depolarization and relaxation of the atria. QRS, ventricular repolarization. Uh, sorry, ventricular depolarization, it's contraction of the atria, okay? And then ST segment, beginning of the ventricular depolar uh, repolarization or relaxation. Lastly, we have T wave, okay, which is relaxation of the ventricle. Uh, this is a uh, picture is very good. We have B wave, atrial depolarization, QRS, beginning of the ventricular depolarization or contraction. Mm -hmm. And then ST segment, beginning of the ventricle repolarization. And then we have T wave, ventricular repolarization or relaxation. Everything is clear, guys? So ECG leads. Uh, now, after understanding the conducting system, how it works, uh, we have different type of leads, 12 ECG leads, uh, six limb and six chest. Uh, six limb, we have three bipolar, which represent L1 and L2 and L3. In the ECG paper, you have to memorize these names, okay? So we have L1, L2, L3, and three unipolar or augmented, EVR, EVL, EVF. These are limb leads. For chest lead, we have V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, and V6. These are leads. We go through, uh, through it in detail now. Uh, as I've mentioned, limb leads, uh, it was uh, discovered by the same scientist who uh, invented the old ECG. Uh, it's called, uh, his name is Enithuvian, uh, William Inuthuvian, uh, discovered a triangle. It's called Inuthuvian triangle. This triangle is represent what? Represent EVR or right R, and then EVF represent the leg, and then EVL represent the left arm, tamam? And then we have lead one, lead two, and lead three. So these are limb leads. Is it so clear, guys? EVR, 
اي في اف اي في ال تمام ليد 1 ليد 2 ليد 3 طيب ليتس جو ثرو تشيس ليد تشيس ليد وي هاف 6 تشيس ليد فروم في 1 تو في 6 وير از ات بريزنتد هارت وي هاف سيرنم In the right sternum, uh, in the fourth intercostal space, we place the first one, it's called V1. And then in the opposite side, in the left side, we have V2. And then V3 between V2 and V4. V4 in the mid clavicular line in the fifth intercostal space. And then we have in the anterior axillary line in the fifth intercostal space, we have V5, V5 V6 in the uh, mid axillary line. Okay, so this is how it's placed. Uh, from V1 to V6. This is for uh, nursing purpose, uh, electrodes. Uh, in the color, we have EVR to represent the red color. EVL, our left leg, represents a black color and EVF, uh, right leg. And uh, in, the, uh, in the left arm, uh, we have a yellow color. Uh, these are the color in the chest, V1 red, yellow, green, and then uh, brown, black, and purple. Okay. Right. These leads reflect on the heart side. For example, we have interior uh, of the heart, left, later, left lateral, inferior surface, and right atrium and septum. يعني إيش يعني كل leads لها مكان بالقلب. When you look to the ECG paper, you can look at the abnormalities and decide it. Which side of the heart is affected? And I can see the V1 and V2, V3, V4 abnormalities, so I can say it's interior uh, side of the heart, not left lateral or inferior or right atrium. So this is must be memorized very well. V1, V2, V3, V4 represent the interior surface of the heart. Lead one, EVL, V5, V6 represent left lateral, and L2. And lead three, EVF represent inferior surface, right atrium represent V1 and EVR, and septal represent V1 and V2. This is must be memorized very well. This is picture represented, so left lateral, V5, V6, and interior, V3, V4, and septal, V1, V2, inferior, lead two, lead three, EVF. Same thing here, these are the ECG paper, So interior septal or interior, lead uh, V1, V2, V3, V4, and left lateral uh, represent lead one, or EVL, V5, V6. And then lead two, lead three, EVF, the inferior, <laughs> inferior one. This is the same picture, this is the heart. So septal V1, V2, interior V3, V4, lateral V, uh, V5, V6. So before we go into ECG paper, this is, I can say this is the beginning of the lecture. This is how you start read ECG. Uh, is everything clear till now? Okay. So uh, as you can see, uh, guys, this is normal ECG paper. Uh, this is represent one lead of the ECG. One lead represents about three seconds. In, in, in big square, each two square represent one millivoltage. One big square represents uh, five millimeters, okay? So two represent uh, 10 millimeters. I've written it here. So one lead represents three seconds, all these three seconds about 15 big square, you can count them, 15 big square, okay? Let's take the smallest square. It's, it's one of these small square. What represents in duration? In duration, it's about 0.04 seconds. This number, you must memorize it, okay? But in, uh, in, uh, in horizontal, it represents about 0.1 millivoltage, about one millimeters. This is one small square. If we take one big square, it has five by five, five small square in horizontal and five small square in vertical or axis voltage. So if we count it, 
we have 0.04 multiply it by uh, multiply it by five so what we will have we'll have 0.20 seconds so each big square it represents 0.20 seconds okay so this number you must memorize it very well so uh, in horizontal distance across small square it's about 0.04 seconds across the large square 0.2 seconds 20 seconds this one. In the uh, no, uh, uh, excuse me, no, so much. No, so much. No, so much. Okay, so in vertical or axis uh, across small square, in each small square, it will uh, represent 0.1 millivoltage, about one millimeters. Large square, 0.5 millivoltage, about five millimeters, okay? Is it clear, guys? Okay, so لازم تحفظون هذه الأرقام كويس. ما راح تقدر تقرأ ECG paper بدون ما تحفظ الأرقام هذه. You must memorize this number. This is the same thing. This is, with this, we have one second. It's uh, one wave. How many wave in one uh, lead, we have three wave. So this one represents one third of this one. In one lead, we have three way, uh, three strip. Okay, so this is considered strip. So strip represents a little wave of each uh, lead. Come on. Uh, as I've mentioned, same thing. One small square, same duration. Uh, I don't want to repeat it, but you must memorize. You know, each wave or uh, each lead, each lead, it has three wave or th three strip. Before reading the ECG paper, you must make sure there is no artifacts. ما في أخطاء. الأخطاء واردة يعني ممكن النيرس تخطي بالريكوردينج أو اللي عمل ال ECG يخطي بالريكوردينج. ف I brought some artifacts. You must look at it. To avoid uh, ECG. هذه أخطاء تنعمل uh, فتعطيك قراءة خاطئة لل ECG. Uh, if we take the first one, uh, it's wandering baseline. You think it's abnormal ECG, but it's not abnormal. This is artifact or a problem. Sebab, chest wall movement during respiration or improper electrodes application. Fuzzy baseline, spabo, electrical interference improbable grounding of the patient bed, bed and then electrode uh, malf malfunction, tamam? So all these artifacts, it's not abnormal ECG. Here we have baseline, improper electrodes, discontinuous wire cable failure, okay? Uh, second, uh, we have uh, this wave, it's called artifact waveform interference. Munkin kun patient seizures. أو يكون في مشكلة crowded connection أو improper electrodes improper electrodes very important you can you can see it it's repeating in every artifact ف you must make sure if you have any of these artifacts or problem make sure that the nurse take it very well and then we have false high rate alarm أسبابه ممكن يكون اللي هو ال ال gain setting too high or particularly with MCL or sitting. And then we have weak signal. This is weak signals. It's not abnormal ECG. Okay, so just look at it. And if you see it in the future, remember it's, it's not abnormal ECG, it's artifacts or problem of monitoring. Now break for two minutes and then I'll be back inshallah. So if you have any question, please uh, return it in the chat. Uh, I will answer it before. When you have ECT paper, you must follow the following step. لازم خطوات هذه تتبعها عشان تقدر تقرا ECG. So first of all, you have to look at the rhythm. Is the rhythm regular or irregular rhythm? Okay. Secondly, you look at the heart rate and determine either it's a bradycardic or tachycardic. And then look at the B wave. Is it normal B wave? Look at the BR interval next, and then QRS, and then ST segment. Lastly, 
look to UA and see, is there any abnormalities in this wave or not? Okay, how to define the heart rate? First of all, you, need, you must know how to define the heart rate and how to define the rhythm. Heart rate, you must calculate the big squares between each R. I will explain it, but just for uh, theoretical. Uh, and divide it uh, 300 uh, by the number of big square, okay? How about if it's, if it's irregular rhythm? This is in case regular rhythm. If it's irregular, you measure all R's in the uh, ACG uh, paper and multiply them by 10, okay? This is for the heart rate. So heart rate, two step, if it's regular rhythm or irregular rhythm. Regular rhythm, count the big square between each R and divide the 300 by this big square. If it's irregular, you must measure all R's in the lead and multiply it by 10. This is for the rate. Rhythm, how to define it? Rhythm, see the distance between each R is it equal or not in the distance between each R in the next or not? We will see and define it's irregular or irregular. And if, uh, before going to voltage and axis, let's explain uh, rhythm and rate. So rhythm, bring a base of paper, okay? And draw a line in, in one R and draw the other line in the second R, okay? Now you draw a line in, two, in these two R and see, is this distance, same distance with here, with, uh, with the next R or not, okay? Is it the same in here or not? So if it's the same, you can say it's regular rhythm. If it's not the same, you will say it's irregular rhythm. There is another way, but it's not followed. All doctors and all people who read ECG follow this step. Bring a piece of paper and do this, okay? This is for the rhythm. Rate, how do you determine it? You have two things. If you, see, if you see the rhythm, it's regular or irregular. If it's regular, now you count the big square between each R and divide 300 by these squares, okay? If it's irregular rhythm, number of R's by 10. Now we'll go through it. Now, is it regular rhythm or irregular rhythm? If you put a piece of paper and draw a line here, and draw a line here, and compare it to the next R, is it the same or not? It's almost the same, so it's regular rhythm. Now we'll go through the heart rate. How to determine the heart rate? Count the big square, one, two, three, four, five. Just a second, let me mute. Uh, okay. So the rhythm is so clear. Now heart rate, count the big square. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 300 by six, what it will be? It will be 50, okay? So this is how you determine the heart rate. Now next, one, two, three, okay? So 300 by, sorry, one, two, three, four. Okay, so you can see QRS in the fourth big square. One, two, three, four. So 300 by four, how it will be? It will be 75 beat per minute. So this is the heart rate, okay? What is the heart rate here? It's one big square, one big square. It's regular rhythm, but it's uh, tachycardic. So one big, one, so we can see here it's one and here one, one. So it's taking one and half, okay? QRS, this is R, and this is R. So it's taking one and half. Here we have it, one, half. So you'll divide it 300 by one and half, which it will be 200 beat per minute. This is the heart rate. Okay, how it will be if it's irregular rhythm? نبضات القلب غير منتظمة كيف نحسب الهارت ريت how you calculate it عندك الليد كامل تمام you will count all R's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 R's you will multiply 8 by 10 
which it will be the heart rate, 80, okay? So how many are? Eight, multiply them by, by 10, okay? Okay, so this is the heart rate and the rhythm. We need to go back for the voltage and the axis. It's very important to know it. So voltage, what is the voltage? It's measuring the QRS complex in lead one and two and three. So here we have lead one and lead two and lead three. Same thing here, lead one, lead two, lead three. Measure it, okay? And if it's more than 15 small square, this is normal. If it's less than, or if it's more than that, it's called low voltage. This is representing very important case called pericardial effusions. Uh, represent in electrical alterants, okay? This is low voltage in case of uh, pericardial effusions. So if you count it, you, you will go here, okay? So in lead one, you have, I, is it clear guys, this uh, ECG paper? Is it clear? Okay, so you will measure QRS in lead one and lead two and lead three. So let's say here, uh, in lead one, it's taking uh, almost uh, half big square. So here, less than half. And here, it's not taking anything. So this is low voltage, less than 15 small square. Tamam. This is normal. If you count this, it's taking two big square and one uh, in each one. So it's more than 15 small square. Uh, this is for the voltage. Axius, Axius, you have two lead to follow, lead one and EVF. Lead one and EVF, normally the axis will be positive QRS, as I've written it here. The QRS will be inverted, not everted, or not in the, uh, not in the baseline. It's inverted, as, we, uh, as it's uh, very clear here. In cases of left axis deviation or right axis deviation or extreme axis deviation, these abnormal. Left axis deviation, you can find it in hyperkalemia, inferior MI, myocardial infarctions, ascites. Right axis deviation, you can find it in PE, pulmonary embolism, lateral MI. Extreme, you can find it in all cases, as mentioned, left and right. So normally, positive in lead one and positive in behavior. In case of left axis deviation, there will be positive in lead one, but everted or negative in EVF. Right axis deviation, it will be negative in lead one and positive in EVF. Extreme, it will be negative in both leads, lead one and EVF. Okay, before we go into the uh, ECG wave components, I'm gonna ask if you have any question about the heart rate and the rhythm. Is the heart rate and the rhythm very clear? There is a question. Uh, you don't have to need uh, to divide it by 1,500. Uh, Just count big square between each R. يعني احسب المربعات الكبيرة بين كل R وقسم 300 عليه. تمام؟ يعني 300 قسمة المربعات الكبيرة بين كل R. هذا لو كان النبضات منتظم اللي هو ريجولار ريذم تمام لو كان الريجولار ريذم شو تسوي تحسب الار الموجوده بالليد كامل تمام احسب كل ار طلع عندك 8 ار 9 ار 10 ار ممكن احيانا يطلع 12 اضربهم ب10 ضربتهم ب10 يطلع لك الناتج الناتج هذا اللي هو الهارت بيت هذه طريقه الهارت ريت كلير The voltage, as, I, as I've mentioned, to define uh, electrical alterance in cases of low voltage, uh, to define disease. They use the bag, they will be wave or QRS. This is the importance of the uh, voltage. Yes, case of pericardial effusions, we will have low voltage. Okay, any question? Any question? Fi a soal?
Okay, so as you can see here, guys, uh, this is the ECG wave uh, form components. هذه كل شغلك بال ECG. تمام؟ كل شغلك على 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 معرفة ال waves هذه. عندك قبل بداية B wave. عندك ال PR interval. عندك ال QRS. بعدين عندك ال ST segment. بعدين عندك ال T wave. بعدين عندك ال U wave. وفي حاجة اسمها ال QT interval اللي هي duration من بداية ال Q لين التي ويف لين نهاية التي ويف تمام بناخذهم بالتفصيل بعد كذا بناخذ الأمراض أو الأبنورماليتيز الكل ويف تمام طيب نبدأ بالبي ويف so beginning of the B wave represent what the B wave دقيقة بس بعمل ميوت للكل معلش okay now it's better Okay, so, uh, okay, just a second. Okay, B wave represent atrial depolarization or contraction of the atrium. وقبضات الأذيني, تمام? هذه الأتريال depolarization أو هذه الـ B wave. هنا بالـ ECG paper, you can find it. This is the B wave. It's the first signals in the waveform, تمام? What is the normal uh, B wave? In amplitude, it's less than 0.25. Less than 2.5, small square. Ka amplitude, ka tool, aqal mithnein unus, small square. Tamam? Hadi ka tool, hadi normal. Tayyib, ka arf, or duration, aqal min, thalatha small square. Tamam? Hadi ka values lal B-wave. This is normal B-wave. Tayyib. B wave de deflection, B wave normally it can positive in all leads, like it can negative or inverted. يعني if you go to the ECG paper and you found B wave inverted or uh, depressed in lead EVR, this is normal. تمام هذا normal deflection. Or bleed V1 it can variable. ممكن تكون uh, inverted or inverted. So this is B wave. Next BR interval. It's beginning of the B wave until beginning of the QRS, okay? Uh, as I've mentioned, it represents continuous of atrial depolarization and atrial repolarization or atrial relaxation. تمام? Normally, PR interval من ثلاثة إلى خمسة small square. من ثلاث مربعات إلى خمسة. هذه النورمال. إذا كانت أكثر من كذا وإذا كانت أقل من كذا, this is considered abnormal. تمام? So, you can see it, beginning of the B wave until beginning of the QRS or PR interval. This is uh, PR interval. طيب. QRS, it represents what? Depolarization of the ventricle. Uh, normal QRS values in amplitude, it's 0.5 to 3 millivoltage. هذا كطول, okay? يعني تقريبا من 5 إلى 30 small square. You count it from 5 to 30 small square. If it's more, more than that or less than that, this is abnormal. Duration, from uh, 0.6 to uh, 0.12 seconds من واحد إلى ثلاثة small square. Deflection, it will be positive normally upright in lead 1, lead 2, lead 3, AVL and EVF and from V4 to V5, V6 uh, and uh, just a second. And negative or inverted in lead EVR, V1, V2, V3. Deflection, guys, you must consider it. Uh, because if you see it's negative in or inverted in EVR or V1, V2, V3, you don't have to consider it abnormal. It's normal. This is normal deflection of uh, QRS wave. Now we'll go through ST segment. Uh, there is a point called G point. It represents what? End of QRS and beginning of ST segment. This is ST segment. Here we can divide the myocardial infarctions. تمام? ST segment represent what? End of the ventricular depolarizations أو نهاية انقباض الventricle. تمام? وبداية ارتخاء الventricle. تمام? So هذه ال ST segment. Representing of the ST segment, end of the ventricular depolarization and starting of the ventricular repolarization. Normally it's isoelectric أو flat. If it's elevated or if it's depressed, 
this is considered abnormal. T wave, it represents repolarization of the ventricle, or ertikha al ventricles. Normal T wave, it's one big square in uh, amplitude and duration. So one big square, uh, this is considered normal for, for T wave. More than that or less than that, this is abnormal. Here we can see it. This is the T wave. This is the ST segment, okay? QT interval represents what? Depolarization and repolarization of the ventricle. Hadi the QT interval, tamam? Hadi zaman al QT, okay? So he tmethil qabad or tikha al ventricle, tamam? Normal QT interval min 0.36 ila 44 seconds. Yani min 1.5 ila 2 big square. Hadi normal QT interval. U wave. May not appear in the ECG paper, so you don't have to worry about it. Lacking here represent a repolarization of bundle of his as we've taken or uh, Purkinje fiber. Normally, it's going in the baseline of the T wave. So a U wave normally it's going على نفس مسار ال T wave. لو كانت prominent the U wave يعني the U wave لو كانت أعلى من T wave. علامة إيش هذا؟ علامة إنه في hypercalcemia. أو هايبوكاليميا أو ديجوكسين توكسيستين، أوكي؟ سو بريك فور تو مينيتس، أند ذين